Okay, so I ran to the bathroom really quick. And Mason goes, Mom, are you going to come in here and check on me? And I'm like, I was planning on checking on you as soon as I went to the bathroom. And is this your new your new seat is sitting on the hamper? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I always feel like Mondays, I never get anything done. So the only thing I didn't do last week was vacuum the couch. I'm like, I'm still going to do that because... <laughs> And then Thursday came, and Friday came, and the weekend came, and yesterday came. And I'm like, still gonna go ahead and vacuum this couch, but you know what's okay. It, things happen, you get to it, you get it. I'm like, I, I just don't stress out anymore. I, I said, it's not worth it. So. Okay, so I ran to the bathroom really quick and Mason goes, Mom, are you going to come in here and check on me? And I'm like, I was planning on checking on you as soon as I went to the bathroom. And is this your new, your new seat is sitting on the hamper? Yeah. Is this how we're already starting Monday? Yeah, I did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful. Okay. All right. You kind of have to get off that because you can break it. It's not a hard hamper, it's a very soft hamper. Can I do that? So let's get off. Yeah. Don't hang on that either because that's broken. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Mondays, I never get anything done. I do, but I don't. So, normally Mondays are my day to clean the kitchen, like fully clean the kitchen. And I did not do that yesterday. I normally edit on Mondays and I did one video and I was like, oh, I'm just blah right now. I like did not feel like being on the computer. So, we're just, <laughs> Me and Mason just hung out and play, right, Mason? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told so much stuff to do. Like, I. Oh, you want to do homework? He wants to do his ABC mouse so bad, but the iPad stuff. So, it's been so crazy. I used to have this routine with him. With oh yeah, you want to do videos, mommy? Go to when we go to Target, he's just telling you everything we do. TV. We watch TV and play. And we play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, so um, I used to do, oh yeah, I'm eating cupcakes. Um, I used to, before the holidays, do school with Mason every single day. And oh. it's been so crazy, I kind of stopped doing that. So it's like the holidays came and obviously, you know, it's the holidays and we're trying to do holiday stuff. And I looked at him today and I'm like, I have not done any work with you. But he's, he kind of watches Bella and he kind of picks up uh, what she's doing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm like, maybe I'll just start at least giving you like ABC mouse. Let me get back into my routine. Cause I'm still trying to get a routine from when I had like, was sick with like the food poisoning um, deal. So <laughs> he's my entertainment for the day. Um, always. So last week I was slowly getting into it. I'm like, did not have time to do a project for the week. And this week, um, well actually last week was the first week of February. So when the first week of 
February or the first week of the month I always do extra extra stuff in the house cleaning wise like kitchen I clean on Monday on the first of the month I like fully pull out everything in the fridge and clean out the fridge because it takes a longer time same thing with the stove and the conventional oven you know all that kind of stuff so the only thing I didn't do last week was vacuum the couch and like I'm still gonna do that because <laughs> And then Thursday came, and Friday came, and the weekend came, and yesterday came. And I'm like, still gonna go ahead and vacuum this couch, but you know what's okay. It, things happen, you get to it, you get it. I'm like, I, I just don't stress out anymore, I, I said, it's not worth it. So, this week I'm trying to, you know, do what I need to do for during the week, and I'm trying to add on my weekly project. So, I am still trying to fit, like clean this, Catch up. The only thing I can't clean is the sink because I'm drying dishes and once they dry then I can go ahead and pull the rack on the top to go ahead and dry them or to clean the sink. So, but I'm like, you know what? I just got done cleaning the microwave, which I was really annoyed because I bought this for the microwave. And ever since I bought this a few weeks ago, I really haven't had to like clean, clean the microwave. And I looked at it yesterday and I looked up at the ceiling of the microwave and I'm like, there's orange crap all over it, yellow and orange. I'm like, who didn't use the cover of the microwave? I would, so I had to scrub that and that actually took me quite a bit to go ahead and do. So I am still trying to finish cleaning this kitchen. And by the way, it is Tuesday. I always feel like Mondays always carry into Tickles. Tuesdays, but that's okay. Tickles. That's okay. Tickles. Um, so, <clears throat> um, Oh, and yesterday I also filmed. So that's a, it, it was just an odd day yesterday. So I am trying to clean the kitchen and I, you know, did the table, did the fridge. I just need to wipe down the counters, cleave my oven top over here, and I'm good. He's pretending to sleep on the chair. He's, 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 this one's weird. This one is a weird kid. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do that, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go downstairs and vacuum yeah. the couch. Vacuum the couch. So at least I get everything done that I wanted yeah. done, and then I'm gonna hit my yeah. weekly project. So this week, I got some more containers for, I'm trying to go through stuff in the basement, and the thing that I'm doing in the basement right now is the kids' clothes, whether um, it's Riley's old clothes that are gonna go to Bella, or Bella's old clothes that I'm just packing away. And I really want to try to finish this kind of by next week. So this week what I'm doing is because I have so much going on with like cleaning and I'm trying to catch up with the cleaning and I have a couple other things to do like in the office and stuff. I'm, I only want to try to get the shoes. I have like shoes and like winter clothes and socks, just stuff like that in like like six bags in the living room. I kind of want to go ahead and get that done. So my goal this week is Hey, dude That's getting to be a little obnoxious Sometimes he gets really really loud, but I Really want to straighten out the living room. So I'm kind of doing like the bags and organizing them because I flip flop containers um, because I got these other containers that actually fit more of the clothes. So I am done with, um, newborn all the way up to, I believe, 4T, unless I find some 4T in, like, the 5T bags or if Bella has some more 4T in her room because she's so small for her age. She's six, going to be seven summer, and she still wears four sometimes. So sometimes I just pull the clothes and, and... That way so I can rotate it. So I'm working on that. So it's like the living room. And then I washed Mason and Bella's clothes. So I need to fold and put all those away. And then Bella made a huge disaster up in her room with all her costumes and everything. And her um, slippers and house robes. I don't know why. She's normally not like that. Um, so I need to do that. So I figure, you know what? This week, if I could... Fully organize the living room how I like it and take care of Mason and Bella's room and organize obviously like the shoes and stuff are part of like the living room. I'll be good this week with my weekly project. So we, and it's Valentine's Day tomorrow and I'm like, do I really want to even do anything on Valentine's Day? But I'm going to push myself. So, um, 
But yeah, so that's that's currently what's going on right now. Um, I'm not mad at myself, but I need to push myself because I just like, like I said after yesterday, I'm just like I just don't feel like I'm in this mood right now. Like we just had a spoiled day of in the 60s with the weather and now I'm craving to go outside. So to Mason, I'm like, let's go outside for a walk. But it's in the lower, lower 40s, as he's twisting over here. It's in the lower 40s and it's kind of chilly. And I don't like bringing him out when it's kind of cold. And he's right, th this is what he's doing back and forth all day. Hold on. He's been doing this on and off for about 15 minutes at a time. And I asked him what he's doing. And he has informed me that he's exercising. All right, so Riley got this mat from my mom. So she can start. You have to put the pink side. Um, so she can practice tricks and stuff for dance and palms. I feel like that's really like short. So right now she's blowing it up to see if it actually works. But I want to see if it worked before. Um, she got it on Amazon to see if she needs to take it back or not. So hopefully, is it hopefully, can you pick that that um, LOL glasses? Yeah, just put it up there. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll work. It'll be really interesting to see somebody do tricks over here. But. Um, well, she's doing that. So here's the stuff that I need to go through. Oh, there he goes. Um, so I got some bags over here. This is actually um, a bag of shoes that I'm already getting rid of. No, that is not the bag that I'm getting rid of. Because I'm like, wait, I haven't even seen those shoes for Bella. Um, but I've got a bag over here, bag over here, bag over here. Um, this is my winter pillows. I just got new pillows for, well, I didn't just get new pillows for Valentine's Day. I actually am trying to um, put the stuff for Valentine's Day. But I got another bag over there. These are all the containers that I got. We still have Christmas stuff over here, a boxes of the kids. I wanna throw out the boxes. I pulled Bella's costumes out of her room that don't fit anymore. These are two 3T and she was still fitting in them, which was crazy. So pulled them out, it was kinda of sad, but um, this stuff was in Bella's tent. Uh, we had, a, for those of you who don't know, we had a disaster with the tent. Uh, it, it, there was like, um. I don't know if somebody spilled water or something, but long story short, there was frozen ice in her tent. So I had to pull the tent down and we, I always have pillows and blankets in there and stuffed animals in there. And we um, are taking a break from the tent. So I have to take all this stuff and organize this and I'm gonna probably reorganize the downstairs bathroom closet and put all that stuff there or put all that in there. And then I have these over here. Riley, actually, those jackets and stuff from the closet, just took those out. And then I've got more shoes and all the winter stuff in here. So that's what I want to do for this week as a project. And then, of course, I am going to tackle this hot mess, which is um, vacuuming and pulling it out and everything and cleaning this. Um, my husband likes to destroy my pillows every night and I have to put them back every morning and I just haven't done it yet because I was going to pull the couch out. But this is our couch that we have. Uh, we've had this for, I want to say we got this in 2016 maybe-ish. Um, it's seen better days. I, I like it, but I feel like it's too big because if you can see over here, it kind of goes over so we are actually going to be in the process of looking for new furniture but i told paul um i didn't want to get um new furniture until he's done with the fireplace so for those of you guys who has it haven't seen this and don't know we actually had a pellet burning stove over there and i did not like it for safety reasons the glass gets too hot you know we got the little ones mason would actually like to go around it um and play hide and go seek Last year we never, well actually this year we sold it. The year before we didn't even use it because, it, I mean it was awesome. I loved having it. Like it would be something like cool put like our little pool house back there because we got a little, um, we want to turn that over there into a pool house. But um, 
I don't know, it was too dangerous. I always wanted a fireplace. There's two things I always wanted, fireplace and a front porch. So Paul did this fireplace. Got a tile bus on too. So it's not finished. And you can see like the walls over here aren't finished. We had popcorn ceiling up here and we took that down. You know, I forget what happened. It was like something over here, Paul like cut. Oh, I know we cut strips um, to put the can lights in there. And now I'm not, now I'm not focusing. Um, we put, they had to cut strips to um, put the can lights in. So when they re um, drywalled it, there was no popcorn and the guy said it's messier to spray the popcorn again instead so we just took it down i mean i told paul i really didn't care if we had it or not but um so this room is probably the next room that paul's going to be working on he needs to finish this he did um he has finished the side he actually did cubbies for me over here to put like my dvds and stuff so this side's finished and he actually made shelves but Coming around here. Um, excuse me, young man. This side is not done yet. So he's got to do a little bit down here and he has to finish up over here. So that and it needs to be painted. So he needs to finish this. Um, and then we're going to be painting. We're trying to figure out, I don't know what he's going to do down here. Originally plan was to do shiplap on side of the wall. I don't know if he's going to continue. I think he is going to do ship left on this side and then we have the bar i'm not too crazy about how the bar looks right now it's a disaster with having all this stuff on there um i gotta reorganize it we he actually took the ceiling down over there we're leaving this beam over here um i told him maybe to put shelves on the back to put all of our shot glasses because i like to to collect shot glasses um places that we've visited so but um yeah i told him let's focus on finishing this room up first and then worry about getting new furniture because I want to see how everything looks and um like I need to get the feel of like what I want for new furniture but I think I don't know if we're gonna do one piece this time I think the next time we get furniture we're gonna do maybe two pieces he wants some chair um comfy chairs too but you know I got all the kids toys here we got this um ledge over here I have all the bluey stuff and then the kids got that for Christmas for my mom. I never opened it. It's more kitchen stuff because they were gonna paint in here a week, the week after um, the week after uh, New Year's uh, yeah New Year's Day, and we have not painted it yet. So I'm like I didn't want to you know when I had to clean all this stuff up and move everything out of here, um, but I have to go through organize that, and then we got the kitchen over here. So um, Paul's like I really don't want toys down here. I agree with him, but there's nowhere to put the kitchen. Um, and I just feel like, I mean, I really don't like the bluey stuff up there. I don't mind the kitchen. Um, you can tell like there was actually two doors over here. They both broke. I actually have to order. I have to order. Um, I have to order new doors. Um, Cause otherwise they will look a lot neater with doors on there. But yeah, any suggestions on what you guys do with your kids' toys that are in the living room, organizing-wise? Because I need to keep this one occupied all day, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, your sister wants to blow this up. We need to see if it works. All right, so today is Fat Tuesday, and Paul spoils his family. He got the punchkis for us, so the kids will be excited to have these later. <laughs> There was only one who got it. 
the princess. Because I was special. You're both special. He just wanted chocolate, right? Yeah. Chocolate. All right, so it is Valentine's Day, of course. Um, So I'm trying to wrap just a little something for the kids. I bought a lot of stuff I bought a while ago, and I always seem to take forever to wrap because I always try to hide it and then um, give it to them later. But I save bags because bags are expensive and I sometimes save tissue paper. So I like this cute little tissue paper over here. Um, so I got um, like some cute little stuff from the dollar store. So the unicorns, Bellas, the monsters, Masons, and then Riley gets the leopard one. And then I got them each some Sour Patch Kids, um, and then some Candy Hearts. I'll probably get just like the extra one to, um, to Riley. But then after I got these, because I really didn't, I really try not to get a lot of candy. Paul and I found these at Walgreens. I'm like, oh. So I'm gonna give the blue one to Bella and then this one to Mason. So I got that stuff going on over there and then I always get them like a little something. So I actually got these two at the Dollar Store, cute little um, Easter lights. So for Riley. Oh, okay, so I actually am going to do a couple things. So with Riley, she got little stuff, so I'm actually like going through my makeup and I thought I would give her some lip products that I have so many products I just got um from Yensai. I got this huge um other lip oils and their new five lipsticks and I love their lipsticks they're like my favorite lipsticks to wear so I'm like oh my like, god I've got all that and then um I have what else and then they just sent me from Perlis all their new lip um their lip stuff too their lip products um and I'm like oh I got all this lip stuff so I really don't need all this lip stuff so put this in here first okay so Riley and then Bella and Mason which I got them some other things too and I don't know if it's gonna fit in there so with Riley so I have a lot of these lip glosses and I like them I do it's just I I'm not gonna wear them um got ones over here just plain and majority of them are brand new what else do I have I bought these so I have this color and I have this color I bought the two little ones They're, the tags are still on them or the plastic I should say is still on them it's just it's crazy all the stuff that I bought actually what I should do is I should give like a couple to Bella but um a dewy highlighter and then this is really pretty a mac one too actually you know what i'm thinking i might give bella some of these um because i feel like i don't know which ones to give her that's the thing um maybe i'll give her these two little ones i'm thinking i'll give her those two little ones and then Maybe I'll give her the pink one and have Riley have the red one. Because I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'll give her these two. Okay, so she got all that. Okay, so um, <coughs> I got Riley a little face mask thing. Just because I needed, in order to have free shipping, I needed like something that was like three bucks. This is what Riley really, really wanted. So she really wanted this for Valentine's Day. She wanted it last year, so I actually got her it this year. She told me two last minute. Um last year so i did not order it for her uh, and that is actually everything for riley so that was like her main thing was that 
spot. We got little tissue paper, so I'm gonna put this on her spot. Okay, and then I'm gonna take these and put these already on Bella and Mason's spot. Okay, and then let's go with Mason. So I got him this cute little Ryan's World little toque thing. It was something that was online. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. Um, you can't get it in the stores, and he likes he really likes Ryan's World, so I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect for him. So these bags are a little too small, but ugh, that's okay. And then little Miss Bella, I got her some more. She really likes magic mixies. And I got her two of them um, because they were actually on sale. So when I ordered those online, they were on sale. And I'm like, you know what? Might as well get her two. It's a couple more dollars compared to what um, Mason's going to be getting. But that's okay. So I got her these. And they should fit in here. They do. Um... But yeah, so Riley and Bella are already at school right now. So when they get home, they get to have their treats. I'm just going to leave Mason there for a while and see how long it, um, it's, I see how long, um, it takes him to figure out he's got a little something there. Now, I didn't get anything for Paul. Me and Paul really don't do anything like that for dear Valentine's Day. Um, it's just, I'm lucky I remember the kids because like, you know, we're always, um, like I try not to go out too much in January and February and then March. So I like always forget and then I'm like, oh my gosh, Valentine's Day is coming up. But we are actually at the dollar store. That's how I bought the candy and stuff for them at the dollar store. Paul and I, so I'm like, oh, that's perfect. You know, and I bought that probably like three, four weeks ago, whenever it like first came out. So to that and then, um, yeah, then I just realized, oh, might as well just order the other stuff that and already have it and have that already set, ready to go. So I'm going to leave that for them. Riley has a half day of school today, so when she comes home, she'll be able to open her stuff up. And then Bella, actually, I don't even know if Bella's going to have time to open her stuff because today's crazy where I have to pick her up at school and take her home. She's got to quickly get dressed, and then she has dance. So she might not have time to open it because sometimes we literally... She doesn't even have time to have a snack. Literally, we get home. She kind of putzes around a little bit. So she literally, like, takes her time to get dressed. And then she's been having a snack in my car. So I am going to probably should be home in, like, two hours. And then um, I'm just going to keep trucking along with my Wednesday. I've been doing some laundry. And I did get the, the kitchen fully clean yesterday. But I did not get to vacuuming the couch so i'm actually gonna work on that right now i did some laundry so i have to fold that first the couch but what's really funny is i normally on wednesdays dust and, and um sweep anyways so i'm like you know what i just left the vacuum out and i'm like i'll just go ahead and vacuum and that's the wednesday i'm only a week behind with the couch it's not really that big of a deal so i'm going to do that all right so the kids hopefully this isn't too hot right now you can see, got a heart-shaped pizza for them for Valentine's Day. My mom got that for them, so we just got home from dance, and I'm just making that for them so we can have a little heart-shaped pizza for their Valentine's Day dinner. All right, so Valentine's Day was yesterday, um, and I actually, I'm pretty good at putting the holiday stuff away the next day, or at least pulling it. So I was talking to Paul, I'm like, you know what, today's Thursday, Fridays, I normally do towels. So I really don't want to pull the Valentine's towels off until tomorrow. Because so like, you know what, it's just one more day. But you know what, I decided, I'm like, I'm going to put the St. Patrick's Day stuff up already. I don't know why. I just started, I was on a roll, I put stuff downstairs, I pulled all the pillows. So, um... I just did a little bit. So I got this stuff on the couch. I love those shamrock pillows. Um, those ones and these ones I got from Kohl's a couple years ago. So they're like perfect. Um, 
These teddy bears I actually found in the basement. These are actually Riley. So Riley's born in March. So every year for her birthday, I would always take her to build a bear and build her the Irish bear. Well, unfortunately they stopped the Irish bear because I was really hoping to do this until she was 18. I don't remember how many we have, but I don't think we just have three. I think there's a couple more. There's a little boy up there. Hi, little boy. You like the teddy bears? I don't think I'm going to keep him he here, but I just wanted to move them out of the basement because they were I currently... That, I want that one, that one, that one. Well, there is only three. Yeah. You're funny. Um, so I just put them up here for now. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them. I don't really want to put them by the fireplace. I'm just going to keep them. 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 Actually, you know what we're going to put them? What? We can put them on my couch in my office yeah. because I don't have anything over there to decorate. But right now, we've got Riley's costume, so we'll go ahead and do that. No, I just said we're going to go ahead and, and put them upstairs on my chair. So, yeah. So, here's... Like, I like might just put them, put them right there and yeah. decorate it. Just for now. But I don't know yet. Right now, Riley's got her costumes up. I got to... Um, and you'll put the blankets... You'll put the I don't have a... I don't have a same... I don't have a St. Patrick's Day, but like that's one thing we gotta look for. But I've got all my cookies here, so this cookies. is our last weekend that we're gonna be going to a cookie booth. So I'm hoping to get a lot of these cookies gone. The ones that are yeah. actually out on the bay window are neighbors that we tried delivering to, and they were not answering. So hopefully Belle will be able to deliver those this weekend. But I like to like right here set up Riley's closet trolley and put hang up all her costumes throughout the season. Um I'm probably gonna put it somewhere else. I've got um garbage truck. I know I see the garbage truck. Right now garbage we've got um here. oh what is that? Riley got a mat to start practicing for dance and palms and then I have a bunch of boxes over here and the reason why I have a bunch of boxes here is Belly wants to do a video of building a box for it. it wasn't even her idea it was audrey's idea so i actually might just move the closet trolley over here but i gotta get i gotta move these boxes somewhere so um i just don't have a spot to put them and you guys love our uh lovely uh candy disaster down here so uh you see girl scouts in this one girl scout cookies riley likes to buy her own cookies so that's riley's candy bin mason's bella's they got a bunch of, what's it called? A bunch of uh, Valentine's Day candy from Grandma. I know. So I went through all their candy yesterday. They have a little bit of Christmas left. Mason has a lot of Christmas M&Ms. Yeah, so that's like Oh, that's from Grandma. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of uh, Christmas M&Ms. But majority of it is... Um, Majority of this now, I almost said Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. So I try not to give the kids too much candy, it but it happens. Yes, it's like a gummy. And then, um, this is just, I don't have much St. Patrick's Day stuff. So my mom gave me these, these were hers, um, when she first got married. And on the back there is eggs. So I'm probably going to take these and just very simply... I put them underneath um just this right over here i have to wipe down the table just to give it like a little little something underneath the um oh my goodness what's it called it the basket which i have the basket over here and i put some shamrocks in there so it's just a little something um <sighs> there's a story with these i know that's daddy stuff so i got these at the dollar store Dad, this one right here threw them all in the garbage yeah. when you were a baby. Yeah. I was so upset and I went back to the dollar store and they were all sold out. So finally they came back, but they have these every year. So I, I quite too. What? I quite too. I have babies. Yeah, most babies cry when they're babies. I mean, I mean. Yeah. Um, but we got to figure out, so we need right now a blanket for St. Patrick's Day, and we need placemats. I don't have any placemats for St. Patrick's Day, but that's okay. No, don't go in there and grab that. Um, but yeah, so 
there goes that. Um, but yeah, so I just have um, some plates over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might even just put them back. I have four of these, so I put uh, two in the upstairs bathroom, two in the downstairs bathroom. This is just some stuff to decorate the coffee bar. I did get this last year, I think. So I'm gonna put this on the door this year. Um, and then these are just my kitchen towels, which I'm missing some. I have St. Patrick's Day towels are my favorite and they're they say kiss me on my Irish I have four of them I have absolutely no idea where they went so I have to I'm still on a mission to find them they might be in a box um like with the kitchen stuff from when we moved and I might have used them for because I ran out of paper or something for like glasses so I'm hoping I do end up finding them and then I have LED lights that go on my coffee bar I don't know if I'm gonna put them up this year, but yeah, so I'm already starting to decorate for St. Patrick's Day, which like I said, normally I don't, like normally I pull um, everything right away, but then I nor normally decorate all the time. Like I actually, um, Valentine's Day, I didn't wanna decorate until February, so everything was up for two weeks. I feel like January is not really a Valentine's Day. I keep like the winter stuff up there. And I was sick, so I was a couple days late, but right now it's February, and I'm like, well, we got a little over a week left of February, and or two weeks, actually. I'm like, oh, just flip-flop everything, so I still, I don't know. I think this is a little too early for me to be putting up St. Patrick's Day stuff, but um, I don't know, I just don't wanna wait till March 1st.